I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this session, I am going to discuss important terminologies used in three-phase circuit such as phase sequence, balanced and unbalanced system, balanced supply and unbalanced supply, balanced load and unbalanced load. These are the popular terms which are used in three-phase circuit. Let us have a brief idea about individual terms. Before starting the video, I have discussed the important terminology such as line voltage, phase voltage, line current and phase current. Uh, in the previous session, kindly go through that so that you will be getting the connection regarding this. If you are watching this channel first time, please do subscribe this channel. Let me discuss about phase sequence. What do you mean by phase sequence? So we will have a brief discussion about phase sequence. Moving on to the See, the phase sequence can be defined in this fashion. Uh, the order, the order uh, in which the three co three coils EMF or currents attain, their peak values are known as phase sequence. So you study the generation of three phase AC voltage. You have to rotate the three phase coil at an angular frequency of omega, and also it has to be displaced at equal angle, say 120 degree. At that time, each and every time you are able to get the maximum value. For each phase, you are getting the particular voltage. Am I right or not? So, that particular arrangement or the particular way of production of EMO that is known as three phase that is known as phase sequence. So, this is actually we can able to say that it is uh, customary to denote the three phase by the three conductors like uh, R, Y, B. Color is only for the identification. Now we will see what is a phase sequence with the help of a diagram so that you will understand the concept very clearly. Now refer the diagram everyone. Now as I told you that we have three conductors uh, for conductor corresponding to R line, conductor corresponding to B line, conductor corresponding to Y line. Conductors are kept at equal angle. Displacement will be equal 120 degree apart. Now I have to define what is phase sequence. So whenever you are producing the three phase AC for each line or e corresponding to each conductor this much of voltage is getting generated so the voltage produced the instantaneous voltage produced at the first line that is given by er is equal to em into sin omega t where omega is known as angular frequency okay. angular frequency so omega can be written as omega is equal to uh, 2 into pi into f radian per second correct moving on to the second line ey that means second conductor ey em into sin omega t minus 120 degree where em is the peak value or maximum value omega t minus 120 degree. there is displacement of 120 degree phi is equal to 120 degree if i talk about the third conductor eb eb is equal to em into sin omega t minus 240 Otherwise, if you are not comfortable, you can write like this, Eb is equal to uh, Em into uh, sin omega t plus 120. This is also okay, where e is actually plus 120 degree. Here, phi is minus 120 degree. Uh, here, we can say plus 120 degree. Anything is acceptable. So, this is called a phase sequence, Er, Ey, Eb. That is actually the sequence of the voltage which is generated in each conductor that is referred as phase sequence. So please follow this. Next is called, when do you say that three phase system is balanced? I have, I am asking one question that, when do you say that the three phase system is balanced? See, a three phase system is said to be balanced if the voltage and current, you have to take two parameters, one is voltage, another one is called current. If the voltage and current in all phases are equal in the sense the voltage and current in all phase fa all phases are equal in magnitude and displaced from uh, 120 degree apart i mean equal angle 360 degree will be divided into three now so equal angle will be 120 degree apart so if i draw oh, er okay you can take any phase sequence let me er then this must be uh, ey uh, this will be Eb. The magnitude, see, if I talk about the magnitude, magnitude of Er should be equal to the magnitude of Eb should be equal to the magnitude of Ey. 
also the angle the angle between uh, each conductor that should be 120 degree apart such kind of systems are generally called as balanced system okay sister three phase system is balanced then these conditions should be underlined these conditions should be satisfied i think it is very clear to you moving on to further discussion is yes, when do you say that system is unbalanced it is just opposite to that of balanced system unbalanced system so for unbalanced system if a system, three phase system is said to be unbalanced or unbalanced if the voltage is and current in all the phases are unequal in magnitude and the displacement with uh, each uh, angle that means each displaced angle displacement angle will not be equal like uh, the magnet we will be writing like uh, eb eb not equal to er uh, not equal to ey correct no the magnitude will not be equal also the angle the angle between uh, each and every conductor or each and every phases will not be 120 degree it won't be equal angle so such kind of systems are called unbalanced system okay so there are two type of system balanced system and unbalanced system now we will talk about uh, what is balanced supply and uh, unbalanced supply so you know three phase supply three phase supply can be divided as balanced supply and unbalanced supply when do you say that three phase supply is balanced if the magnitude of all the we can say if the magnitude of all the three phase voltages are equal and uh, the displacement they are displaced at uh, 120 degree then we call it as uh, we can able to say that system is balanced supply and the frequency also same only frequency will be 50 hertz so such kind of systems are called balanced supply uh, if the if the above conditions are not violated if the above conditions are not satisfied or violated then we call it as unbalanced supply so there are two types of supply balanced supply and the unbalanced supply in balanced supply you are talking about uh, the magnitude also the displacement o all right so these are the differences between balanced supply and unbalanced supply now tell me what is the difference between balanced load and unbalanced load you are using three phase load suppose you are using three phase load so we, if we talk about balanced load then the thing is you have to talk about one parameter called impedance what do you mean by impedance impedance means some total of all the resistance in a particular ac circuit that is called the impedance suppose if it is an R rl circuit you know how to calculate impedance rl load motor load if it is a motor load or rl load then we call it as impedance equal to square root of uh, resistance square plus inductive reactance square that is called impedance see now if the load is said to be unbalanced uh, if the impedance is say if the load is said to be balanced not unbalanced the load is said to be balanced then the impedance of each phase will be same okay your if you measure each impedance of each phase then it will be same only conversely if the we can say that if, if, if when a load is said to be unbalanced okay the impedance of each phases are unequal not equal or you can call it unequal such kind of systems are called or such kind of load is generally termed as uh, uh, unbalanced load you have to study the difference between balanced load and unbalanced load so these are my references i would like to conclude the session uh, in this session i have discussed about the following terminology what are the terminology which are used first one is balanced first one is what do you mean by phase sequence okay define phase di phase sequence later on i discussed the balanced system later on i discussed about uh, unbalanced system afterwards i discussed about balanced supply and unbalanced supply uh, finally i discussed about balanced load and unbalanced load so these are the important terminologies used in three phase system for example for a three phase load so consider a three phase load okay we have a three phase load which is connected in star suppose if you are activating these two particular loads then we call it as a system is unbalanced because impedance will not be equal no such kind of loads are called unbalanced loads. just a clarification let me know if you are having any queries if you require the soft copy of the above mentioned textbook please do put up in the comment box definitely i will revert thank you so much for watching this video in the coming session i am coming i will be coming up with the two type of three phase connection that is star and delta have a great day